So certainly what we have going on here are a number of issues. So we have a structural budgetary problem. We've made large commitments to the retirement and health care of an aging population. We have a pretty big commitment uh, at the federal level to health care in general. Those costs are going up. But certainly some policies of late have taken a bad budget situation and made it worse. We've got tax cuts. They don't pay for themselves. And we've also got a number of budget deals that have raised spending. So you add all that together and we end up with what I think is probably going to be a trillion dollar deficit next year. How much of this can we point the finger directly at the tax cuts? As you pointed out, um, the Republican uh, point sure. as they were trying to sell the deal was that these tax cuts are going to pay for themselves despite right. what every right. economist said right. uh, that wasn't right. going to be the case. I mean, have they uh, widened the debt even more than we had anticipated? So not not more than I think those those economists uh, that, that said that tax cuts don't pay for themselves anticipated tax cuts don't. Um, they have contributed to the deficit and the debt. But like I said before, we have structural budgetary problems that are much bigger than the tax cuts. Keep in mind, the tax cuts expire uh, largely by 2025. So it is it has made the, the deficit challenge worse, but it is not at the root of our problem. And Gordon, earlier today, uh, we did have somebody who's very familiar with those tax cuts weigh in on this issue. Sure. Former White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci, Scaramucci expressing oh. his concerns over government spending on Yahoo Finance. I want you to take a listen and then I'll get your thoughts on the other end. Okay. The stuff that I don't like is the aggressive spending. You can see um, sizably that we're way under in terms of where our tax revenue should be, and we're way over in terms of where our entitlement spending is and other governmental spending. And it's you know it's very wasteful. I mean, no no one in Washington is actually holding each other accountable to that spending. So Scaramucci there is saying that nobody is holding each other accountable for the spending. I mean, in his defense, we did get that agreement between the White House and Democrats recently that essentially kicks the can down the road until after yeah. the election. What does this suggest in terms of how much worse this picture could get? So my own view is that this is going to get worse. The two-year budget deal that Congress just enacted, it was essentially compromise in that everybody gets what they want. And what that looks like is higher debt. The president has not made fiscal responsibility a commitment on his campaign. He said we didn't have to touch the major uh, drivers of our debt. And I don't see fiscal responsibility animating any part of the presidential election cycle, unfortunately. There's just not a real conversation going on there. And until we educate the American people about the scope and scale of the challenge, I just think it's kind of too high of a hill to climb for policymakers. And how significant is that scope and scale as you see it? So I, I have done some, some work on this, and to just stabilize the debt at the high level it is at now, at about 80% of the economy, we would basically have to embark on a fiscal consolidation. That's a mix of tax increases and spending cuts that would essentially dwarf any that we'd actually done in the past. So if you add up any of the major uh, tax increases that we've done or a lot of the, the spending cuts that we've ever done, the amount that we would actually need to do to get the, the budget under control would be bigger than that combined. So we have a, a big challenge ahead of us. Okay. Uh, Gordon Gray, appreciate your time today. Thank you.